Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out Unreal Tournament updated to the latest version of Unreal Engine 5.1. Now, I don't know how familiar you guys are with all the Unreal Tournament lore, but for everyone new, basically Unreal Tournament is a fast-paced first-person shooter inspired by games like Quake, and Epic Games was working on like an updated version of Unreal Tournament inside of Unreal Engine 4. This is way back in 2014 when Unreal Engine 4 had just been released, so they were working on this new game that was supposed to be the original Unreal Tournament remastered and from my understanding correct me if I'm wrong what basically happened was Epic Games was focusing on releasing their new and upcoming game Fortnite when that came super big and popular they can the Unreal Tournament game now I'm not entirely sure if that was the main reason that they dropped Unreal Tournament but you can download the source files all the project files assets maps etc and import it to Unreal Engine 5 and that's basically what I've done here so I've updated it all to use Lumen and Nanite all the new features inside of Unreal Engine 5.1 so we can see what Unreal Tournament would look like like running inside of Unreal Engine 5. So yeah, here we are inside of Unreal Tournament and Unreal Engine 5, and I'm running this in 4K as well, and on my RTX 4090, so it's obviously a bit overkill. We're getting 120 FPS, and of course, you know, all the assets and textures were made back in 2014, so obviously it's not like super nanite meshes. I mean, there's a lot of great detail in this scene, as you can see, and honestly looks really good, even for 2023 standards, and you guys will see this, but honestly, I think that... This map and the graphics hold up pretty well in 2023, and it's kind of sad to see that they abandoned it. Now, for all you guys who are interested in actually playtesting this or trying to, I don't know, mess around with the source files, like the assets and 3D models, let me know if you guys are interested in like a tutorial video showing you guys how to get all this migrated into Unreal Engine 5. The last version that Unreal Tournament was on was like Unreal Engine 4.1, so it's essentially 27 versions behind, but yeah, as you can see, we can walk through the map app so I enabled Lumen, so on the directional light, it's all dynamic lighting. But we have a lot of different point lights that are placed within the level because they would bake out static lights and all that stuff. But obviously with Lumen now, we can just use emissive lighting, which a lot of the materials in this scene actually do. And so you'll see the little emissive materials, like the little lights on the ground, actually give off ambient light because of the Lumen global illumination system. So yeah, I enabled Nanite on all the meshes. Obviously, it's a little overkill because, well, the meshes aren't really super high detailed, you know, high poly count or anything like that. But I mean, we'll take advantage of that automatic LOD creation. I think they honestly did a pretty good job on this map as it stands. So either way, in my opinion, it looks great. But yeah, before we get any further in the video, I want to give a shout out to my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course. If you guys want to learn how to use Unreal Engine 5 to make your own games, check out my multiplayer survival game course where I teach you how to make a survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. In this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree, rock, or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle, bow, and so much more. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings. We add a raiding system where you can attack other players and raid their bases for loot. Then we create this open world map that has different biomes, procedural foliage, this course was designed with beginners in mind, so if you are new to game development or Unreal Engine, you can take this entire course. I walk you through step by step, and I explain the why behind what we are doing through each lecture. All of the project files for this course are included, so you don't have to worry about purchasing any other additional marketplace assets. All of the lectures are recorded in 1080p with high quality audio. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you'll get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you will get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there.
But yeah, we'll just walk through the rest of the level here and maybe someone watching this video will feel inspired to download the source project and try to remake this in Unreal Engine 5. Honestly, looking through the source files, like they have a bunch of different maps from the original Unreal Tournament that are just blockouts. So they were working on recreating a ton of different maps. A lot of them are just unfinished blockouts, but there's actually a couple of them that are semi-complete. Now, me personally, I haven't played any of the original Unreal Tournament games that's kind of before my time but what I'm thinking is you know why doesn't Epic make all these assets like all the 3d models and stuff in here free to use for people who want to make their own game like we've seen this before with you know their game Paragon where they made all the 3d assets and models free so I think it would be pretty cool for Epic to take all the 3d models in here and put them on the marketplace for free so people can I don't know make a game or something out of it currently the license on these source files is you can only really use it to to create immunity maps and stuff like that for the for the Unreal Tournament game. Obviously that was years and years ago. But yeah, like I said, it would be neat if Epic would come out and, I don't know, make these assets available for maybe people to use in their games. Maybe modify the license so that people can use them freely. Now the weapons and stuff like that, all the blueprints and source code is all outdated obviously. It was made in Unreal Engine 4.1 so I mean we're on Unreal Engine 5 but in Unreal Engine 4 it went all the way up to version 27 so that's about pretty much 27 versions behind. So obviously when I loaded up the source code like all the classes everything was all outdated, bunch of errors, none of this stuff would obviously compile so I just you know simply slapped the first person character template and then added this little yellow weapon. I think it's called the hand cannon. I'm not entirely familiar with Unreal Tournament to be honest with you. So yeah, none of this is actually playable. It's just pretty much just me walking around the map because like I said, all the blueprints, all the code and stuff like that is severely outdated and I'm sure it could be updated or even maybe remastered because you have you know all the assets there, the particle effects, animations, even the character mesh so and going through some of the files in the project I saw that they had some like vehicles and stuff so I assume that's from like the original Unreal Tournament so they have a lot of the old files that they imported from the older game so I wonder if they were planning on remastering all the old vehicles and all that stuff feel like Epic should at least do something with the 3D models and assets in here rather than just let them go to waste. But yeah, maybe you guys can think of something down in the comments down below. I can try messing around and looking through some of the other different maps. Can't really do much with these assets. I mean, I can play around with them. Even this part here in the valley, you can see that the landscape over here and the rocks. I mean, all this could be replaced with some Mega Scans assets, obviously. And that would probably be a pretty suitable remaster at least. But yeah, let me know what you guys suggest on what I should try and do with the source assets and the maps and stuff. And likewise, if you guys want a tutorial on how to migrate these assets into Unreal Engine 5 project, let me know because it was actually pretty simple. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys what Unreal Tournament might look like inside of Unreal Engine 5 if it was, you know, remastered or updated to the latest version of Unreal Engine. Check out my multiplayer survival game course if you want to learn how to make a game inside of Unreal Engine 5. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.